Hi, I'm Donna, and I blog at onceuponasewingmachine.com with my daughter, Rachel. And we design patterns for children's wear at ousmdesigns.com. Today I'm going to show you how to apply a ribbed neckline to a simple t-shirt. I have my t-shirt, which is just a regular simple knit. I've sewn my shoulder seams together. Knit does not fray. You don't need to finish the edges if you don't want to. I just have sewn in a 3 8 inch seam with a regular sewing machine stitch. The rib net you're going to need is, rib is perfect for a neckline. It has at least a 30% stretch with a good recovery. If you use a self neckline, which is the neckline that is the same as your t-shirt material, you need to be sure that your t-shirt also has a 30% stretch with a good recovery. This knit does not stretch quite that much and would not be appropriate for a neckline. In order to know how long you need to make your neckline, you're going to measure your neckline from shoulder to shoulder and all the way around to the other, to the same shoulder, from shoulder to shoulder. And stand your tape measure up and just measure all the way around the front and then around the back till you get back to your starting point. Mine measures 14 inches. You're going to make your rib piece two-thirds of that measurement. So I've already got that cut. Mine's about nine and a half inches or so. Then you're going to connect your short ends and sew the ends together so that you've got a circle. Okay, I have divided my neckline on my t-shirt into quarters. So your shoulder seams are going to be one point and one point, and then you're going to mark your center front and your center back. And I simply take my shoulder seams and match those seam allowances together and then mark the center front and the center back. You're going to do the same thing on your rib. Mark the center front, the center back, and two sides. So each piece is marked with four pins, and you are going to um, now attach your rib knit to your shirt. I've sewn my rib in a circle. I am going to fold it in half so that there's a fold, and that's going to be my finished edge. My seam allowance, I like my seam allowance on my rib neck to go at the center back. So that's the way I'm going to apply it. I'm going to pin the seam allowance to the center back and the center front to the center front. Always pinning raw edges together, matching up your centers and your raw edges. And that's going to leave you with your two side seams. So you're going to match one with one shoulder seam. You're noticing that your t-shirt is bigger than your rib. And that's the way it's supposed to be. You will, we will stretch it as we sew it. And the last one goes to the last shoulder seam. And now you've got all of your rib pinned in quarters to your t-shirt with your shirt neckline being ever so slightly larger than your rib neckline. We're going to match up the raw edges and sew in a continuous 3 8 inch seam. So now I have my rib on my t-shirt with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. I've got it all nice and pressed. So what started out to be a two inch wide piece of rib is now a perfect half inch neckline on your t-shirt. There's no puckers, there's no loose wonkiness because your rib was two thirds of the length of your total neckline. That helps it to lay real nice and smooth as you sew it. If you're looking for more tutorials, you can go to onceuponasewingmachine.com and check the tutorial box to find more tutorials. Thanks. See you next time.